Okay, good evening, everyone. Let's start. Please start. <coughs> Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambo tassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambo tassa Namo tassa bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambodasa. Good evening, everyone. We are talking about how to do dana, <coughs> how to how to perform charity. So today I want to quote a few sotas. One is the uh, reason to give gift. So there are many reasons people gift gift. So the first one is a uh, having inserted the recipient one gift a gift. So some people they do dana because they want to insert the recipients. So this type of dana is no good, of course, yes. So something that we shouldn't do that. So we have to respect to the recipients, even to enemies, you know, even to enemies. <clears throat> Another one is one gift, a gift from fear. Sometimes we do give in we do charity or donation because we have a fear of accusation. Some people may, might think that if I do not give, they may think I am a stingy one. <laughs> do not give any gifts. Right, sometimes we do because um, it's not right to not to give. If I do not give, then my classmate will think that I am a stingy. <laughs> Huh? I am not compassionate like that. Because of that, we are, you know, are forced to do dana. <coughs> and some people do dana because they have fear of rebirth in the four full planes. One of the four full planes. Um, because the many bodhis, um, they do, do, they do dana because they don't want to go to four awful planes, right? So this is, we also have this type of dana. A little bit better. <laughs> a little bit better, right? One give a gift thinking he give to me. Somebody give it to you something, then you think that may not be nice not to give that person something back, right? You see, human uh, is quite natural, quite natural. Some people want to receive anything from other people, right? <laughs> because you have to be grateful to them. Huh? Therefore, you may give that person something. So these are the reasons to give gift. Then one gift, a gift, thinking he will give to me, of God. This is a very common type of dana, right? So as you are living in a, uh, as a, as a lay person, uh, so there is a give and take, right? Give and take. Sometimes you go to the wake, then you do dana. Uh, you do dana, and some people may think that if I do more, then when my <laughs> my family passes away, well, they will give it to you, like that, right? So thinking that. So 
this is a type of dana, but uh, we shouldn't do that. If possible, if possible. One gift a gift thinking, giving is a good. Giving is a good. Here also you expect something, right? You expect something. If you do, if you do dana, then you will have something bad, something good in return. So, so anyway, it's also not bad, not bad. Then, one give a gift thinking. This one we already studied. I cook. These people do not cook. It isn't right that I cook. I who cook should not give to those who do not cook. So this morning when one of my students told me that, so when she hear this teaching, very happy. Because she always cook for the Italy people, for her aunties, for her relatives. It's good, right? It's good. It make uh, it make you happy. It's a very good uh, type of dance. <coughs> it doesn't just refer to the monks, right? <laughs> so here, uh, as a Buddhist monk, we are not allowed to cook. We are not allowed to cook. We are not allowed to do business. So we have to depend on later activities. So one of the things that a man should remember all the time, always, that uh, we depend on others, later parties. So this is uh, the nature of a man, the nature of a man. So if we are thinking that we depend on later parties, so there's no arrogance in our mind. Even we become very famous, even we have a lot of things, you know, a lot of things. But we, we should always remember, we are not dependent people. We are not independent people. We are dependent. We are dependent on later parties. So this is a one thing the Buddha taught to the monks. We should always remember or recollect. So that means uh, we are not allowed to cook. We are not allowed to do business, so therefore, we are dependent on, we are dependent on people. So therefore, people normally, normally offer food to the monks. Because of that, we can do a lot of things, right? We can do a lot of things for ourselves, for, for other people. So that's that, that the reason why, so we can share the Dharma knowledge to the people. That the reason why we can go to houses, hospitals for blessing, and also we do we, we go to the wake and funerals for chanting. So therefore, um, you know, the, that given to them also a type of this done, right? Type of this done. <coughs> As I earlier said that, not just to the monks, also there are some people cannot cook, right? then you cook for them. Some people can walk, then you help them to walk. Some people do not have a chance to go out, go there and to talk, right? Uh, accompany them. So this is a type of, you give your time, right? Your time to them. Another one is one gift, a gift thinking because I have given this gift, I will gain a good reputation. <laughs> it's also quite, quite natural, right? It's quite natural. Um, of course, if we give, we will have a reputation. So when we are studying uh, the Rosetta Dana, we were, uh, we, this is one of the Rosetta Dana. Whether you want it or you don't want, so reputation will come to you, right? If you are generous in your family, family member where uh, among the family member you have a reputation. You are generous to your sister, brothers, 
parents like that to your friends. So good reputation. But if you have expectation to gain reputation, um, it is not, it's okay, it's okay, but not very good, not very good. Support you do dana, you give. Then no reputation among your family members. <laughs> no reputation in the fam uh, uh, in, among your friends. No reputation in the temple like that, right? Then you will suffer. You will suffer because of expectation. No? So therefore, so the last one is the highest form of dana. <coughs> We already studied this one. One gave a gift for the purpose of augmenting uh, the mind, augmenting the mind, equipping the mind. So this is a, the, the type of dhana that, uh, that make uh, beautify your mind, that make uh, equip your mind. So actually, we already studied that this type of mind is um, the highest because you gift, you share what you have based on compassion and loving kindness, just looking at the recipients. There's no expectation in return. You see that recipients are in need of something. Then that's something that you can contribute. Out of compassion, so you share, you gift. So this type of dana, you freely gift. There's no expectation. There's no expectation. So such type of dana, highest one, because it ornament your mind. Your mind, your mind me. Uh, when you do, when you practice meditation, when you are doing samatha and vipassana meditation, this type of dana will help you. Because letting go, right? You renounce your property freely. There's no uh, stream attached, right? There's no stream attached. You give away, thinking that recipient is in it or you are your gift based on compassion and loving kindness, consideration, then because uh, you renounce your belongings, <coughs> your property, right? So for that reason, uh, one of the uh, Sanoni or Nibbana, Sanoni or Nibbana is, we call it Vimoti, Vimoti. Freedom or deliverance, you know? Freedom. Freedom from attachment or craving. So when you are performing this type of dana, you have a freedom of mind, you know? No stream attached, no craving for your belongings. You just look at the recipient with the compassion, loving kindness. Then you give away freely without stream attached. So this type of dana will decorate your mind. It creates freedom in your mind, non-attachment in your mind. So here, nibbana me, nibbana me, liberation of freedom, freedom from attachment or craving. If you do not crave for thing that you gift, if you do not keep, uh, crave for the result of your dana, your mind is free, right? Whether they will respond in a good way or bad way, whether you have a good response or bad response, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It will not uh, affect to your mind. So therefore, so this type of dana, the dana that look at the recipients, 
with the compassion, you freely give to them. So it will be supporting conditions for your meditation, samatha and vipassana mind. So that is called Chaita Lankara and Chaita Patekara. Chaita Lankara and Chaita Patekara. So you wear the jewelry, right? On your body. So they decorate your body. People will look at you. Wow, <laughs> very nice, eh? very smart. It decorate your body. Similarly, when you are giving something to somebody without any attachment, just looking at their need, then it will be this type of dana, the last one, highest one, no? It will be a strong condition for the Tema or Nibbana, right? Tema or Nibbana. <coughs> So these are the reasons to give gift. And some of the reasons are not good. Huh? Some are good. Okay, any question or anything that you want to discuss? Okay, I think no question, no discussion because we already studied this one. Okay, uh, can you? So sorry, I just want to know which uh, Nikaya does this sutta come from, Patamadana. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's Thank a, you. I didn't, I didn't add this one. A-N, Ingotra Nikaya, A-N, Ingotra Nikaya. Ingotra Nikaya, chapter, chapter 8, sutta number 31. You, you may notice that most of the sutta about dana are from Ingotra Nikaya. <laughs> so as I earlier said that, uh, Ingotra Nikaya is for lay devotees, normally lay devotees. So therefore, most of the things about dana uh, are from Ingotra Nikaya. So here also, I want to quote one soda from Ingotra Nikaya, uh, Dana Vatu Soda. Dana Vatu Soda, ground, Grounds for giving. Maybe same thing, the, uh, the reason for giving. Number one, one gift, a gift from desire. <clears throat> from desire. So you want to give. You have a desire to get somebody. Somebody. Normally, uh, later I will explain a little bit further. You may have uh, three or four children, right? Some parents, they have desire to get somebody. <laughs> They're bias, you know, bias. Similarly, among your friend, among your friend, you have a, uh, three or four friends in the classroom. You, uh, you sh uh, you're supposed to share uh, equally, but instead of giving equally, but you get somebody more <laughs> bias, you know, it's a type of, so this is, this type of uh, dana is not fair among the parents, among your friend, right, in the organization, organization like that. <laughs> then number two, one give a gift from hatred. Sometimes you have a hatred, anger, then because of that, uh, you get somebody else. Suppose so you feel angry, you know, somebody. Instead of giving that person, then you give somebody else like that. So your dana stems from the hatred. Then one give a gift from delusion. Delusion is opposite of wisdom. So you do not know what to give, what not to give, or to who we should give, to who we shouldn't give. So just give somebody who approach you, you know, <laughs> without using any wisdom or understanding, delusion. 
Number four, one gift, a gift from fear. You fear of accusation or maybe somebody threatening you to give, you know? Then because of fear, we have to give, right? Like that. So these four things have to be very careful. So when you become a leader in a family, in a society, or in a schools, anywhere, anywhere. So we call it uh, four, four biases, four biases, because of desire, because of you have a desire, you, you have a, uh, you, let, you left somebody more than others, right? Because of that, you, you give. In the office, in the office as a, as a boss, right? As a boss. So you need to, uh, of course, you have to distinguish who we should give more, right? Such type of using wisdom or understanding and looking at their contribution to the company is not a bias, right? But here, four people are doing uh, equally, you know, equally. So they are doing, they are making your business increase, you know, they are contributing equally. So their contributions are equally, uh, equally same, you know. But you have desire to get somebody, one person, and you get more to that person. So such type of giving, you know, come from desire. Or you hate one person, even though he contribute equally. You do not give. Uh, how to say, how, how, how you say it, uh, incentive or how, how you call it, uh, bonus, you know? You try not to give bonus to that person because you hate, right? Shouldn't do like that, shouldn't do like that. As a, as a, as a boss, as a leader in a society, so they contribute equally because you hate that person because you, you do not give. And also, if you are giving something without wisdom, that is called, you give a gift from delusion. Sometimes you may gift from fear or somebody threatening. If you do not give, then he will make you yeah, something dangerous or dangerous like that. So these are the four things. Uh, need to avoid as a leader, as a leader. Also, as a, in a country, as a country, right? Same thing, right? Same thing. If you are given an important post, if somebody is doing, based on these four biases, the country is very unlucky, you know? Singapore is lucky because of... Um, a good, good leaders, so they do not have all these four biases. So they look at performance, right? Then they give important posts for the government. So these four are important criteria any society, any society, including the family, right? Then one gave a gift thinking, giving was practiced before my father, before uh, by my father and forefathers. I should not abandon this ancient family custom. So this one also people usually do like this. One gave a gift thinking, having given this gift, with the break of the body after death, I will be reborn in a good destination in a heavenly world. Quite, quite common, right? <laughs> it's quite common. Of course, it's a type of dana that you will have a good destination after life. <clears throat> Number seven, one gift a gift thinking. When I'm giving this gift, my mind becomes placid 
and elation and joy arise. Some people give. If I give, I have happiness in my mind. Also, a little, little bit of, you know, expectation, right? This type of dana is good, but you still have a stream attached, right? You're looking at about yourself. I'm happy if I give. But here, highest one. One give a gift for the purpose of augmenting the mind, equipping the mind. Equipping the mind. So this is a higher type of dana. So these are the eight grounds for giving. So actually these are just examples and that there may be other grounds or other reasons to gift. Some are good, some are not good. So that means if you give something to somebody, even to animals, call dana. So you need to know how to do dana. What are the, how, uh, how to do dana? So by looking at all these ones, right? Or this one. Okay, now we finish uh, this sub topic, how to do that, how to do that. So we will go to another one. The recipients of our dana. To who we should gift? Who are the recipients? Okay, any question or any discussion about earlier sub topic? How to do dana? Okay, no. The recipients of our dana. <clears throat> when I talk, when I teach about this topic uh, in 2018, so one of the students asked me a question by writing an email. You know? So yeah, here, I, I want to request those who want to ask questions please uh, email to me. Don't send via WhatsApp or Viber. Uh, Just type in the email so that I have a record in the future. The questions are important. So the questions are things that you want to know, right? People you want to know. Then I have an idea what to teach. Otherwise, if I'm in teaching, this and that, people do not want to listen. <laughs> not good, right? Not good. So therefore, if you have a question, just uh, write to me. So actually, I have given my email address. If you do not know, you can ask Brother Alice, and also you can SMS me. Yeah? So by that time, one of the students asked me, so she normally bring uh, ham soap for the lady toilet, <laughs> lady toilet, because lady toilet, there's no ham, or most of the time, there's no ham soap. Then one of her friend told her, you should give to the Sangha. If you are giving, if you are putting ham soap in the lady toilet, you will not get any good eat. <laughs> you will not get any good eat. You should, you should give, give to the Sangha. You should, you should offer to the Sangha. Then only you will have a good deed, a merit, a merit. And she said that, I don't care, I don't care, I will still bring ham soap for the lady twinless because, because of high G, you know, she said that because of high G. And she also said that, is it considered as a dana? What do you think? Yeah, dana, right? Giving himself for people, you know, who really need it. Tempe step they forgot. <laughs> so therefore, she bring himself. It's a good, it could, you know, it is a, she have a compassion, concentration. So Lady Twyla need himself. It is very useful, right? So this type of dana is highest one, based on compassion and understanding. So therefore, um, <clears throat> recipients of our dana, so whatever you give to somebody, 
even to animates considered as a data. So regarding with recipients of our dana, recipients, I want to quote one soda uh, from Engotra Nikaya, chapter three, soda number 57. Chapter three, soda number 57. So when you're reading um, Pali Canon, it's easy for you by knowing these sotas, you know? So you just go to uh, chapter three and soda number 57. And those who want to read uh, Pali Canon, you can, you, you can go to library, our library. Also, oh, I forgot to send soft copy. Later I will send it to you, soft copy. No? Then you go and read. So, uh, Uchankota is a Brahmin. So one time he approached to the Buddha and asked the question. Many people say that uh, Gautama Buddha always say, you should give a gift to me and to my disciples. The dana given to me and given to my disciples is more fruitful. Accusation, you know, people always say like that. The Buddha said that, no, I didn't say like that. I didn't say like that, it's just a lame accusation. So instead the Buddha said that, the Buddha said that. Ucha, but Ucha, I say that one acquire merit, even if one throw, throw away Dish washing water in a refuse damp or suspect with the thought. The thoughts are very important with the motivation that may the living being here sustain themselves with this. You are throwing dish washing water into the suspect or drain with the thought of motivation. So may the living being here sustain themselves with this. How much more then does one acquire merit when one give to human beings? So that means this Sota talk about recipients, you know? Even to give, you know, animals, even to um, how you call it? No, we, even we do not call anime, right? Uh, some of the uh, the living being who live in the dream. What is it? Insect, insect, and also some insect who live in the dream in suspect, right? It's considered as a dana. So here, motivation, intention is very important, right? Intention is very important. How much more then does one acquire merit when one gives to human being? If you are given to human being, more merit, more merit. However, I say that what is given to one, so what is given to one of the virtual behavior? So let me virtue one, the virtual one. It's more fruitful than what is given to immoral passing, even to human being. So two type, moral passing and immoral passing, right? If you are given to virtual people and more uh, moral people, then more fruitful, more fruitful. It's quite clear, right? If you are giving to your money to moral organization, or immoral organization, right? You can think, right? If you are contribution, cont contributing large amount of money to immoral organization, <laughs> what will happen? Yeah? So they will use your money to their pot. They will put their man your, your money into pocket, you know? So therefore, so if you are given to virtual people, virtual organization, and virtual tambe, <laughs> very important also, no? 
budget template, more fruitful, more fruitful, right? So this is a very beautiful sotas, very beautiful sotas. Some people accuse that. The Buddha say, you should give to me and my disciples. No, the Buddha didn't say like that. But the Buddha did say, if somebody give to virtuous people, more fruitful, then give to Im immoral person, eh? immoral people. So therefore, feeding animals, even insect, is considered as a dana, considered as a good deed, is a good deed. If you are feeding animals, you accumulate a lot of good deed, a lot of good deed. So in Takinawi Bangal Soda, the, the soda that I share with you, uh, the Buddha said that if you are giving gift to animals, you will get large amount of good deed. Large amount of good deed. Then I want to share a real story about the lady who give who feed an animals. Animals. Taught by Fao Xiaro. Fao Xiaro. So Fao Xiaro is one of the well known meditation masters from Myanmar. He quite often cope his own experience. One time, uh, one American woman meditate in the Falk Meditation Center and she can see her best life. And she see how she died. She died in a car accident. Then she became a uh, American lady this life because, because of a good deed. So one time, uh, so the moment she died, you know, at that, that uh, the last moment of her, her death, and she visualized and memorized her good deed, feeding to a bat and fleeing a bat from the cage, right? From the cage. Before she died, she visualized. So therefore, even we die in a car accident, with a car accident, so there will be the last thought moment. So she visualized her good deed because she feed a bat and free a bat from a cage. Because of that good deed, she became a human being again in the U.S. So she meditate, then she remember her past life. So this is a real story. So Paul Ciaro talk about it in his Dhamma talk, his Dhamma talk. So, so therefore, uh, even feeding animals with a good intention, you know, good motivation uh, is a good deed. So as a Singaporean, you may be wider. <laughs> if you are feeding anime here, is a kind of offense, right? Kind of, uh, you're breaking the laws, breaking the laws. Because, of course, here, the, the government take care of the uh, hygiene and also the clean, uh, clean environment. So that means, uh, if you are feeding animals, of course, you have to use your wisdom, of course. You have wisdom. If you are feeding stray dog near your house, many stray dogs will come to near to your house, right? It create a lot of, uh, you know, um, a lot of, how to say, problem, a lot of problem. So therefore, we have to use uh, our, uh, how to say, wisdom, our wisdom. Okay, so, um, any, anything you want to ask about this? I didn't know, right? Okay. I want to quote one soda from Sanyoda Nikaya. SN is Sanyoda Nikaya. SN. With the capital letter, both capital letter. So if you use S, S capital letter, N small letter, 
it means Sodanipada. Sodanipada. If we are writing as an both capital letter, it means Sodanikaya. If N is small letter, it indicates Sodanipada. Sodanikaya, chapter 3, Soda number 24, it is discussed as taught to King Kosala. So one time, uh, King Kosala visit monastery and ask the question to the Buddha. Venerable Sir, where should a gift be given? To who I should give it? So he want to know how to choose our recipients. How to choose our recipient. Actually here, what the Buddha taught is very clear. Wherever one's mind has confidence, great king, you can get anyone you like. <laughs> so some people are happy to give to their relative. Some people, are, some people are happy to treat their friends. Some people are happy to offer to the monks. Some people, are, some people are happy to to give to organization like that, you know, some organization, non, non-religion no. organization like that. So you can give whatever you want, whatever you want. It's up to your mind, your mind. So this is a, a very important one, I think, very important one. <laughs> one time, uh, and one of the foreigner asked the question to one famous Seattle. You can, in Myanmar, there are so many pagoda, right? So many pagoda and Buddha statues, statues. And he find it, it is a, a type of waste, wasting money. Because in one place, when you visit to Pakan, you know, so many pakora, right? So many pakora. When you go to Shirogon Pakora, so many Buddha statues. It is a waste of money, he thinks. So therefore, he is asking to that Seattle, is it a waste of money by making a lot of pagoda and Buddha stupa, Buddha images? And Seattle said that. By offering pagoda and Buddha images, people find happiness. <laughs> by offering Pagoda and images, they feel very happy. Giving example of um, people who find happiness by spending a lot of money, like a climbing mountains, right? Climbing Mount Everest. It, it takes a lot, you know? It needs a lot of money. Some go to inside the forest, forest, like the Amazon forest, right? So they spend a large amount of money to go to the forest. And some people find happiness by hunting, you know, hunting, they spend a lot of money. So this is the one thing to consider. Of course, some people may do, you know, some good deed, like a building a bit pagodas and making a lot of statues. But um, we have to use our wisdom. If you want to have a highest form of dana. So if you are making a lot of pagoda in one place, whether it is necessary for people, right? So you have to look at, you have to use your wisdom. But most of the donor they offer for them by offering pagoda and Buddha statue, they feel very happy. They will go to a good destination after their death. They look up for themselves with a loba. But we have to look at whether the pagoda are really necessary in this area, right? In this area. Whether Buddha image is really necessary to put somewhere we have to use our wisdom. So if you are putting a lot of 
or an images in one place. I think that is meaningless, meaningless. For you, okay. For Sansara, it's okay. But for na attainment of Nibbana, not good, not good. So you have to look at, you have to use your wisdom. Offering Buddha images to one place where it is really neat, right? Uh, building a pagoda in one place. So people go there and make a, how to say, chanting, praying. At least by going there, they find happiness and peace. You know? So if you are making a pagoda and Buddha image in those places, it is a, how to say, it will be useful. So here also, you know, two type of donation. You donate pagoda or images thinking for yourself, you know? So by offering pagoda, then I will become a, uh, a donor. And it will be a strong condition for my sansara, for next life. Another type is you look at the recipients, you know? If I offer a pagoda or Buddha image, people there will be able to go there and do chanting, and they find a place, a quiet place, a good place to find happiness and peace. So that is a, I mean, that will be uh, more meaningful, more meaningful. So, um, so therefore, here, um, King Kosala, so he asked the question, where should I put my dana? Then the Buddha said that, Wherever your mind is happy, you know, to give, just give. Some people keep ham soap to the, in the women's toilet. <laughs> She's happy for that, right? She's happy for that. Some people are happy to do dana to the monks. Some are happy to treat uh, his or her friend. So you can do dana, any type of dana, right? Then after doing dana, you're happy. Then uh, the king asks another question, second question. But venerable sir, where does what is given become more grapefruit? Grapefruit. Actually, here the sotas are very uh, sometimes you know a little bit difficult to to know to know. So therefore, we have a commentaries. The commentary is plain. But here. The second question is, uh, if I give somebody, uh, the dana that I give to somebody, is, uh, which one is more fruitful, more beneficial, more beneficial? Second question. Then the Buddha's answer, this is one question, great king, where should a gift be given? Where should I give to somebody is one question. This, Another, where does what is given become a great fruit? This is the second question, it's another. So they are not different, also they are not the same. For the second, uh, the first question, you give uh, wherever you want, whatever you want, whoever you want. The second question, the Buddha said that, what is given to one who is virtuous, great king, is a great fruit. Not so what is given to immoral passing, right? If you are given to immoral passing, you feel very happy, but the fruit of that dana may not be very good, no, very good. If you are given somebody who is moral passing, you do not feel much happiness, right? Much happiness, but you should do it because it's fruitful, it's fruitful. So therefore, um, so when you look at this soda, we can understand two parts, right? Then you can give somebody who, who make you happy, you know? Some may be happy to give your, their friend, their relative, you know? Uh, outside of, Religion, you know, some people, there are some people who do not want to offer 
religious organization or temples or church. They want to offer to normal people, poor people, right? Poor people. So you can do so, but uh, you have to look at the moral person, you know, moral organization. Virtue, virtue is very important. Later, later we have to learn what is virtue. Sila, sila, the one who has sila, is very important, right? Then here also one question uh, from one of my students. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Then I want to, then I will talk about this question. Then later I will. I will, I will talk about one soda. <clears throat> she said, my previous boss is a very faithful Buddhist. He does charities every month to few charity organizations. He's very generous to charity organizations. He kept delaying employee <laughs> bonus. <laughs> Inform the staff that it will be detached take further notice. She is not generous to his employees, you know. So there are some people like this, right? So some people, they are generous to offer to the Sangha or to the religious organization, but they are stingy to family members, you know, like that, similar, right? Similar. This act is not a good dana Am I correct? <laughs> so two part, right? So the boss is happy by to offer to non um, a charity organization. You know, he do that regularly, but he's not happy to give extra bonus to his uh, how to say to his employ employees. He should place employee inter <coughs> interest first. <coughs> so that they are the one to make his business grow. Please advise. <laughs> Actually here, I, I don't need to advise, you know. <laughs> she give, she give already, and she give answer already, you know. You know? So like that, uh, people look at very far, you know. They forget about people around them, you know. That is the one thing we should consider. It's very important aspect. Don't, uh, so we have to look at our family first, all right? So this is the, the soda that I want to share today, Adia soda. So I have already shared with you, Adia soda. Adiya soda means utilization. So this soda talk about how to utilize your wealth and to who we should give our priority to do dana. Our priority to do dana. That's very important, right? Priority list. When you are doing dana, so you have to look at it in this way. That is a this is a Buddha's advice, very beautiful soda, actually, I like it. Then what you have to do first, you have to earn your worth righteously, righteously. It's very important, right? Don't, don't make money in a righteous way. That's very important. Don't cheat. Don't steal. No? So trying to get wealth in a righteous way. Actually, our life is very short, very short. So if we are making money in a righteous way, then, then it's not clean, not clean. No? So first of all, we need to make our money clean. So then your priority of giving, number one, to make himself happy. Please and please. So here, your dana, dana, <laughs> your wealth must go to yourself first. Make a money, trying to use for you, you know, trying to use for you. That's very important, number one. 
you have to make yourself happy and pleased by using your wealth. Your wealth. So when I teach this soda, one of my students said that after learning this soda, she tried to use her wealth for herself. Trying to eat, trying to buy <laughs> a good clothing like that. You know? <laughs> it's a correct way, right? It's a correct way. So you have to, uh, you have to make yourself happy by using your wealth. That's a very important one. Then priority go to your parents. Your parents. If you are staying yeah, normally, right? Your parents will educate you, will keep you money for your education, for your business, right? For your business. So therefore, priority should go to the parents. Then second, then later, trying to keep your wife, your husband, and your children. Then later, if you have a slave, workers and servants, of course, an earlier time they sleep, but here we don't have a sleep, right? You, you, you will have a workers, servants, domestic workers. Don't forget domestic workers, you know? So they are nearest recipients of your dad. So therefore, in English, uh, English we, we have a saying, charity begins at toll. So your charity, your dana should begin at toll. So trying to make yourself happy and pleased. Trying to support your parents. And trying to support your wife or your husband and your children. Then go to sleep, workers and servants. So that is the, uh, the Buddha advice how to use our wealth, our money, our property. The second one, to make his friends and company happy and pleased. Trying to use your friends, your companions, you know? No sangha yet, no sangha yet. Eh? So you have to give priority to your friends because they are very close to you, right? In your job, in your schools, so they are very close. Then, third one, to make him say secure against the possible danger of fire, flood, kings, so here came with the government, <laughs> bandits, or thief, and leopard heirs, and leopard children. So sometimes the children are dangerous for the parents. Sam, right? So you need to prevent yourself uh, from these uh, against those possible dangers. Fire is very rare in Singapore, right? Very lucky. Flat, no flat here. Only on the heavy rain, you know, sometime. It's not. It's not dangerous for your house, right? And kings, give me government, right? Government. The government increase GSD. <laughs> 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 you have to you have to make sure that you you can pay it, right? So you have to you have to make sure uh, how to say unnecessary, unnecessary expenses, right? Unnecessary expenses. If you are spending, then you have a higher GST rate, like that. So here, of course, in Asian time, kings. Right now, the government, right? Government. Bandits. So they are some thief. So actually here, in nowadays, a lot of, uh, a lot of, I want to say, your money is not secure, right? Some people are trying to steal. Uh, you have to make sure, you know? You have to make sure that. And also, unlevel, um, unlevel airs, like a children, right? Children. You have to use your money. But the, of course, this is not a, uh, nothing to do with the dana, but how to utilize, right? The next one is to make five appellations or five type of gift, five type of gift to relatives, 
So actually giving to relatives, supporting to relatives, Kaibodana, and guests who are coming, who are visiting your house, right? Who are visiting your house, and also who are visiting your country, country. Ancestors, ancestors. Actually, you are trying to give, uh, arrange offering to ancestors. So here, actually, according to Theravada Buddhist teaching, Theravada, not Buddhism, no? not according to Buddhism, according to Theravada Buddhist teaching, uh, sharing of the merit is a kind of giving to your ancestors. But so when I read sotas and teachings, it's not very uh, strong, you know? It's not very strong. You can stick and give physical things, like you're offering food to your ancestors, eh? to your ancestors. Chani customs. I don't know whether you have read one of the soda uh, offering to departed relatives written by Asma Akacheta from Malaysia. He write a small book, red color one, and he against Tedavara Buddhist teaching, you know? So that means you can offer physical things to your ancestors. He is in favor of uh, Chinese culture of offering to the departed one. So for me, I think you can do whatever you want. You can do both. <laughs> it's safe, right? And you can offer physical thing to your ancestors, and also you can share the merit. Both will make you happy. Both will make you, uh, will make you kind of, you know, security, you know. You pay respect, uh, you pay respect and gratitude to, to your ancestors. Both are, you should, you, you should do both, no? You should do both. And another one is the kin. So here, making five evaluation, me, uh, the kin me pay in tax. If you make some money, you need to pay tax to the government. Don't try to avoid tax, right? Then you buy something from outside. So when you're crossing, uh, immigration, try not to, uh, what is it, uh, smuggle, and try not to bring without any paying tax, right? This is also a, a type of, a type of uh, paying tax, is a type of giving, a type of giving. Paying GST is a type of giving, right? And also, uh, when you're walking, you have to uh, you have to do kind of saving, right? How how you call it? CPF, yeah, CPF. Keeping CPF. Also, a, 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 we can say that it's a type of dana, right? You give something to the government. The government will do many project, you know, using your money, you know, you are contributing for the country. You're giving. Maybe under the paying tax, right? Under the paying tax. Another one is uh, the deities. So you should give, give to the deities. Deity me, uh, if you are uh, offering something, flower, food, or something to the god and goddesses, it also considered as a kind of, uh, a kind of evaluation or a kind of gift, kind of gift. So when you look at this one, I think you can see that the Buddha is very flexible, you know? Not very rigid, not very rigid. The Buddha allowed to offer to the God and Goddesses, right? Nothing wrong <laughs> to offer to the God and Goddesses, right? So there's a type of dana. The last one, to make offering to virtuous people. So we have virtuous people. It doesn't mean not just Sangha, right? It can be to virtuous lay people, 
It can be outsiders, right? Outsiders, the one you do not know, strangers, strangers. So that means, this sort of talk about the priority of your dad. You must start with your nearest people, right? Trying to make yourself happy with your wealth. Then trying to give to your parents, to your families, to your workers, servants, and trying to give to your friends and companions, and trying to make, uh, trying to use your money, you know, to prevent from uh, possible dangers, five type of possible dangers. And also, you use your money to make five ablations. You use your money to make off offering to the virtual people. So that me, uh, this sort of talk about the priority of your dad. Hmm? Trying to, charity should be can at all. Trying to look at your family first. Eh? That's very important. I think also very, I think, um, beautiful soda, I will say that, beautiful soda. So normally we forget our peop uh, nearest people, you know, nearest people. So when you look at uh, Mangala Soda, Mangala Soda, we have 38 blessing, right? 38 blessing. So in this soda, talk about four recipients, four recipients. If you are given to those four recipients, it's a blessing, it's a blessing. It will bring blessing in your life. Mangala Soda talk about uh, recipients of our dana. Uh, in this order. So the first one, supporting mother and father. So actually the Buddha suggests uh, to use your money to support your parents. Parents are important in our life, right? So if you are able to support, trying to support, trying to give. So this is a blessing. If you stay with parents, trying to gift. Number two, supporting wife or spouse and children, supporting family. If you are giving something to your family, it's a kind of dana, right? You are cooking for the family, it's a kind of dana. <laughs> then giving alms. Giving alms means uh, you give to strangers, uh, both in more passing or more passing. So it indicates not only um, Sangha or religious people, it indicates to everyone, you know, usually strangers. And also helping the relative. So normally, uh, Mangala Soda talk about, uh, Mangala Soda is arranged with the vast Pali poem, you know, Pali poem. So in uh, order, maybe, you know, change because of the, uh, the nature of the poem, right? The, na the nature of the Pali Kata. <coughs> so in Aliya Soda, uh, having related confessed. Then after that, given to strangers, we can. What I want to point out here is in Mangala Soda, we are, uh, that we are always chanting, also mention four type of recipients of our dana. So if you are giving, that's a type of blessing. So it will bring a blessing in your life, in your life. Okay, any question? Any question or anything you want to discuss? <clears throat> okay, no question because it's clear and then I hope, huh? <laughs> so, I want to discuss another soda, is the analysis of offerings. Takina Vipanka soda. So earlier, I discussed the soda that do not distinguish a religious passing or the passing outside of religion, you know? Anyone, the gift or dana, whatever to give to anyone is called dana. But here, this soda talk about actually is closely related to offering to the Sangha. Not only that, it talk about different type of recipients. So here, 
we will learn, we have to learn um, 40 type of recipients. There are 40 type, 40 type. Taking now we bank so the analysis of offering, it will analyze uh, different type of offering. Taking now we bank means analysis of offering, it stress on the importance of community rather than an individual. So when you are offering to individual or a you know, community, so the community offering to community is better, better. So this soda especially highlights the significance of Sangika Dana, giving arms to the community of Sangha. As I earlier said that, Sangha community depend on lay devotees. Without supporting from lay devotees, they cannot do anything. They cannot do anything. The Sangha community is designed you know, in such a way that they don't need to do business. If we are doing business, there'll be, uh, there'll be a lot of corruption, you know? A lot of corruption, like lay people, you know? Uh, it create, it increase craving, you know? If I get, 1,000, I want to get 10,000. If I get 10,000, I want to get 100,000 like that. Then I want 1 million, you know, billion like that. It creates a lot of craving, you know? So therefore, so we have to depend on donation from devotees. So in, in that way, uh, there is no conceit, there is no arrogance in our mind. We are reminded that we rely on lay devotees. So therefore, uh, giving and providing and supporting to the Sangha community is important. You are supporting uh, people who are separating teachings of the Buddha, right? Teachings of the Buddha. The Sangha community uh, trying to bring teachings of the Buddha up to date, from generation to generation, right? <coughs> so therefore, this sort of highlight the importance of uh, Sangigatana. Sangigatana me giving arms to the community of Sangha. So therefore, in our temple, we arrange Sangigatana. We invite many venerable from outside. So when you see them, you feel happy, right? So the power is there. So in this soda, uh, sorry, not, not, not in this soda. So we have a nine quality of the Sangha. So one of them is Esa Bhagavato Sawaka Sangho Anotaram Ponyakitan Lokasa. So we always chanting. This aura of the disciples of the Blessed One is an incomparable field of merit to the world. You can grow the merit in this field. Fatain swine, Fatain swine. So we have a uh, 40 type of recipients in this soda. 40 type of recipients are mentioned. I think uh, the soda is very long for those who haven't read so you can read later part. So, um, uh, Mahabhachabhati called me, the stepmother of the Buddha, uh, make the rope, the rope for the Buddha. He set a rope for the Buddha. He himself span it, he himself whoop, whoop it. Then when the Buddha visit Kabila Vatu and she bring set off yellow rope and talk to the Buddha. Bandi, I want to offer this rope to you. To you. I myself made it. The Buddha suggests that do not offer to me individually, offer to the Sangha. If you offer to the Sangha, then the benefit will be much greater, much greater. Of course, 
Mahabhajapati Gaudami, as a stepmother, as a mother, she went, her son used the rope, right? Normally we went to offer something to an individual. So then the Bura rejected a second time and third time, suggested to offer to the Sangha. Then because of that, uh, the Buddha said that uh, offering to, even to the Buddha, you know, offering to the community of Sangha is much more fruitful and beneficial. So therefore, so this sort of highlight the importance of community rather than an individual. So there, in this soda, so then the Buddha explained 40 type of recipients. 40 type of recipients. Maybe uh, today we may not have much time. Then we're trying to explain, I want to say, uh, of course, maybe uh, trying to explain. Dakinawi Banga Soda, Majama Nikai, M and Me, Majama Nikai, Majama Nikai. Soda number 142. Soda number 142, para, paragraph number five, paragraph number five. Because if you are reading the story very long, right? <laughs> so it's easier for you to go and read. Paragraph number five. The Buddha mentioned 40 type of personal offering or individual offerings. So they are rated according to Descending order. As far as the result of dana is concerned, if you give number one type of individual, the benefit of dana is higher. Second one, second highest, like that, like this, go like this. Number one, the boda. Some some boda. You cannot offer right now. <laughs> right? You cannot offer right now. The Buddha is no more. Honorable offering to the Buddha, food, flowers, kante. Actually, the Buddha cannot eat, right? The Buddha cannot smell. So we want to be happy. We look at ourselves. So when you look at to the recipient, you know, it's stone Buddha statue, you know. Offering food to the Buddha statue, able to eat? No, cannot eat, right? We have to use our wisdom more, right? You are not looking at the Buddha. You look at yourself. If I offer food to the Buddha, flower to the Buddha, very happy. <laughs> I will have a merit. I will go to heaven, you know, like that. I'm not denouncing offering food, flower to the Buddha, right? So to consider, to consider this one. We have a one, uh, a group of monks in Myanmar. Uh, early, uh, late 19th century. There's one, one school, we can say that one school so they say that offering food, flower to the Buddha is nonsense. <laughs> so they rejected to do that, you know. But they fail to do, you know. <laughs> they fail. Because they, many people, so they are doing dana, offering to the Buddha for themselves, no? The Buddha cannot eat, the Buddha cannot smell flowers. But it's good for us, right? Good for us. So when you're offering to the Buddha, food, flower, candies, then it make you happy, right? So that happiness is a good deed. So that good deed will help you in one way or another, no? One way or another. So therefore, it is a good deed, but it's not higher type of dana, you know, higher type of dana. So there is one thing that you can do, that you can do. 
if you offer flowers to the Buddha, people will see, you know. So when they see those flowers, they will be happy, you know. It kind of, it creates happiness for people. Then your dana became highest one, you know, highest one. You know. So therefore, it depends on our motivation or intention, intention. So therefore, when people ask you, when people ask, why you are offering food to the Buddha, fruit to the Buddha, not for the Buddha, no, not for the Buddha, but for you. Because this is your intention, right? You are very grateful to the Buddha. You have a lot of faith in the triple gene. Therefore, because of such type of faith and gratitude, then you offer to the Buddha. The Buddha cannot eat, you know? <clears throat> so, that's one thing you should consider, yeah? So here, we cannot offer anything to the Buddha. So we are doing for our, our self, for our self. <laughs> the another one is Pachika Buddha, Pachika Buddha, solitary Buddha. Pachika Buddha appear uh, in the time that the Buddha dispensation is no more, no more. Pachika Buddha. So they realize the truth and they attain enlightenment. So, but they cannot teach. They cannot teach. They don't have the ability to teach. <laughs> like a Sambi bear, they learn a lot. When they are teaching, they cannot teach, right? Students do not understand. <laughs> like that, they are Pichika Buddha. <laughs> so they understand themselves but they cannot explain to others, you know, Pachika Buddha. So Pachika Buddha appear, um, the time outside of Buddha dispensation. So they attain enlightenment, they know Four Noble Truths themselves, but they don't have ability to teach. Of course, they may teach, able to teach few people, but they cannot explain many people, you know, in many ways. So, solitary Buddha. Normally they stay on uh, say in a quiet place, not messing with the people. They're not teaching. They're not teaching. But some people they translate as a silent Buddha. <laughs> Many of you know, right? Silent Buddha. Because they are silent. It's not a literal meaning. Literal meaning. But me they stay themselves. Not teaching. Hmm? Like he so therefore, solitary Buddha. <clears throat> so right now you're gonna offer to Pacheka Buddha, right? Pacheka Buddha. Okay, I think uh, I have only five minutes. Then uh, if you have a question, one question or two question. I think no question. Then we have a one announcement. Uh, teacher Lily, uh, Chairwoman of MBDF, will make an announcement. Uh, good evening, brother and sister. Sorry, just take one, two minutes only. I want to make an announcement that there will be a talk. I, now the topics that you are learning is about Dana. So MBDF is very uh, blessed to have invited a monk from USA. He's a Sri Lankan monk. Uh, he's called Bhante Pema Ratana. He's the abbot of Pittsburgh Burmi, uh, Buddhist Center in Pittsburgh, USA. So the topic is called Balancing Self-Care and Caring for Others. It will be on 13th of March, Monday, 7.45 to 9.15 in this hall. So put it down in your calendar and hope you can come for the talk. If everybody come, I think go full house already. All right? So it relates to the topic that you're learning now. So please make time to come for the talk. Okay, thank you so much.
Okay, let's uh, close our lesson. Yo vara tam pavaro manu jesu sakyamuni pakava katta kecho para katto pala viriya samangi Tansu katan saranatha mupemi Rakawi rakama ninjama sokan Tamama sankatama patikulan Madura mi mampa kunan suwi patan Dhamma mi mansaranatha mupemi Yatta cha de nama hapala mahu Chattu su su si su puri sa yu ke su Atta cha po gala dhamma da sa te Sangha mi man sa ra na ta mu pe mi Satu, satu, satu Good night, everyone.